Trading Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the green baby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just sent, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Make it a great one. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, your life, you allow yourself to be fully in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial's up 191. Nasdaq's up 146. S&P's are up 29. Gold contract up a buck 17.84 silver down 21 cents 23 dollars one penny an ounce light sweet crude down a buck 37 62 dollars 32 cents a barrel notes and bonds the 10 year note down six ticks trading 134.04 the 30 year off two at 165.24 and king dollar king dollars down 66 ticks trading out at 93502 the euro is at 116, the yen is at 109.81, and the British pound is at 136 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's going to get interesting coming into this close. The reason being, folks, is that it looks like, well, first off, I think we're on a slow roll over. And you got to look at the calendar also, because what, it, what does end up happening, coming into Labor Day, the bottom line of this market, I suspect is going to still stay sideways into Labor Day. Then we'll see where that the baby goes, because Labor Day is only uh, basically 10 days away. So what you have here is this. We came, you got a high first, and the, SM, and the SPY at 447. Volume wasn't bad. We, we actually went up there, it wasn't bad. You come down with big volume. Today... You're at 50 million. Now, we very well may do 70 or 80 million. If that's what we do, guess what? That means that you're going to go right for the highs once again. Inside the NDX 100, it looks to me that, they, that the NDX 100 is going to go for the highs again. Because what we have inside the NDX 100 is that you've already done 30 million shares uh, coming into the close. Bottom line, we're going to do at least, I suspect, option expiration, you're going to do another 10 million. Um, you can see it's very subtle, but the bottom line is that you're right next to the high. The high inside the queues at 369.91. We hit 368.08. You're sitting out there at 367.41. We take a look at the small caps, which has been the weakest indice all along. Small caps out here. And this is what's going to get intriguing with the small caps. So if we take the small caps, we put them on a weekly basis. What you're going to see here is this. This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, so. You have a monster consolidation in the small caps that goes all the way back to February of 20, oh, February of this year. The first time that we came down, you came down to the price point of uh, 207, you had 198 million shares traded. Now, these are all on a weekly, okay? So we got to remember that. 198. The next time we came down was 210. So you can see you came down again, huge volume. So now we're dealing with 210. Next time we came down, but it didn't get to the low, it was 172. Next time we came down was 184, and guess what? It's 152. So what that's saying, that's saying that guess what? You get a rejection of lower price here, man, and it's saying the small caps want to go higher again. So this is going to be wild, man. 
That's a nice, that's a nice setup. And yeah, the bottom line is that that's what that's what that's saying. You know, you, you have volume, but you can see the contraction of volume has happened in a, in, in a huge way. Gold, gold contract out here. Bottom line, I, it looks to me like the gold contract building cause to try to go after this B point of an ABC structure on the way up. And we'll see whether uh, first off it goes after it, and second, does it? If it goes after it, it's going to be easy to get the volume. That's what it really comes down to because the volume is only 145,000 contracts at that high. Um, yeah, it's 145,000 contracts at the high. The high we're talking about there is 1797. Now, what you have here is this. It's 120.A to B. So if we get the volume at the B point, that is saying that the gold contract wants to go right to the swing highs of that 1922. And that's going to be predicated, no doubt, on the dollar and can the dollar hold price. Uh, dollar took quite a while to get up to its swing high, made it, no doubt about that, uh, took it out. And the number we're dealing with there is uh, 94 93, 437. Uh, right now, you're still above it. And the bottom line, the longer you stay above it, the higher you can go. Um, we go look at the euro because I want to basically see where the weakness is here. So the, the euro rejected lower price out here today. The British pound, that's down, not even 19 ticks. That's kind of at its lows. The yen... The yen's at 109.81. Yeah, that's a toss-up. The yen's a toss-up. Bottom line, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. You get the 10-year note right now at 134.03. This is down with 936,000 contracts, which is so light volume, it's unbelievable, actually. So you can see this is kind of... You know, this is about as evident as you get. You're going into 1.3 million contracts. You're going sideways at 936,000 contracts. That's saying that the note and bond market continue to want higher price. And the 10-year right now is yielding 1.25. Now, when we say that notes and bonds continue to want higher price, lower yield, and all you hear about is that, okay, we have tapering, the Fed wants to go up on interest rates and all of the above, if you're watching Tiger TV and you're watching my screen right here, you can see that we have high rates and relative as to what Europe is in right now. You know, you get Brazil at 3.8, but they get inflation that's raging. You got Mexico at 2.7. But then we look at the rest of them. France is in a negative 10-year. Germany's in a negative 10-year. The Netherlands and Switzerland have been in a negative 10-year forever. Um, it's a big number. And then watch this one. This is like sick. I was doing this yesterday. A 30-year, this is unbelievable, actually. A 30-year, Germany and Switzerland on a 30-year, you have to pay them for a 30-year bond, okay? You have to pay them for a 30-year bond. That is so wild, man. I can't even understand it. I was, just, I was explaining this to someone yesterday, and the bottom line is that they, they would, uh, I don't blame them. They're saying, oh, I don't get it. But guess what, folks? What does happen is that if the rates go lower, go more negative, well, guess what? The price is going to go higher, and that's why people will buy them. That's the bottom line, no doubt. Pretty amazing. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 223, NASDAQ up 154, S&P's up 33. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 216. You get the NASDAQ up 157. S&Ps are up uh, 33. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, folks. You have uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is up $9.93. You get uh, Macy's up 61 cents. Microsoft is a monster, man. Up 788. <laughs> that's, that's quite a move, man. Uh, you get Cleveland Cliffs down 28 cents. We have Freeport Mac Moran up 26 cents. If we go over to the uh, well, actually, let's go to Fre Freeport Mac Moran first, FCX, because what Freeport Mac Moran did yesterday, it did reject its lower swing point. I believe on the weekly it's going to have the same setup. Okay, so you're dealing with 113, 103. Yeah, you are. So what you have is this, is that we got down to 3165. The swing low is 3136. It's even better. That's that we got close to it and basically it, it basically rejected it. So that's saying that higher prices coming at you once again. If we go look at the copper contract, because there's there's no doubt that uh, the Freeport Mac Moran will trade with copper. Um, it's one of the largest co copper companies in the world. So you get the cop. Look at this copper contract, man. This is hilarious. It, it, so the volatility inside of this is pretty amazing, folks. OK. Uh, copper right now is up eight and a half pennies. Yesterday we were down fourteen pennies. We're actually down, we got down sixteen pennies. Um, copper right now four twelve. So it's back inside the higher range again. That's the bottom line. It's back inside the higher range. Once you get back inside the higher range, that's saying, guess what? Game is on again. Now, when we take a look, let me look at iron ore because iron ore also is getting smoked. The past few weeks, after reaching all-time highs, so iron ore is up 19 bucks. You're at 784. That's still going to be a problem. Yeah, this is this is down from 1300 a ton to 784. Wow, you talk, uh, 1260 a ton to 784. That's that's a big number. So iron ore, it's got a long way to to make up a lot of work. There's no doubt about that. Let's go to Southern Copper, SCCO. Take a look at Southern Copper out here. So Southern Copper, okay, so this is back. Try to come back. This is a nice setup. Okay, so Southern Copper, the first high-volume low that it had. 
was the 17th of June. And then you had a higher low the 10th of July. And now the bottom line is that this is, uh, this no doubt is, has tested it with dramatically lighter volume, dramatically too. So let's see. Okay, so the question is, uh, when you draw fibs, do you always use the lowest low or the low of the current run? For example, where would I draw the low on Moderna? M-R-N-A. So if you take Moderna, so what, so what the question is, folks, is that where, is, where are you drawing the line, okay, the Fibonacci sequence, okay? So in Moderna, you know, I'd do it right at the be beginning of the run that started, which is 214. And take this. Now, this is, if you know how confluence works, this gets really cool, okay? Because what happens is this. Now, these lines are going to squish together, but this is what you're going to be looking for. You're looking for the confluence is the 0.382 to 618 of two different trends. So the larger trend here came back 50%. You can see that blue line. That came back 50%, right? Then what you can do for confluence, which is really cool, you can say that, Okay, so the first trend started there. It stalled out at approximately 362. And then what you would do is you'd take, get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this whole thing. Just remember 356. We've got to remember 356, okay, because I'm going to do this again. And what you're going to be looking for, 356, 356, okay. So, so then we're going to take this trend here and... 356, 382, 361, 356 to 3, uh, there's, not, there's not confluence there, that's the bottom line, there's not confluence there. So what you, had, what you have there, what I, was, what I was trying to set up is, and you don't get confluence all the time, what confluence is, folks, is this, is that it's two separate trends, but going the same way, you do a .382, 618, off of those trends in a 5.0, and what you're looking for is that it ends up at the same spot. So most of the time that even on a two or three hundred dollar stock, confluence would be approximately two to three points. If you get something like that, it really works well. Uh, the probability goes up quite a bit. That's the real bottom line. Let's go take a look at uh, TGB. This is Taseco. Now this is, should have some movement. Okay, so this is a monster copper stock also. So this came back to its breakout area. You broke one swing. This is, this is all right. So watch this. On a weekly basis, we broke the swing of uh, 157. That had 10 million. We only did 8 million this week, 8.7. And you're coming into a breakout area of 20 million. So the bottom line is that now it should build some cause because we're uh, Taseco still has a high volume high, 267, and that's saying that at the bottom line it can get back up to that number. If we go to, go to Valley, which is the iron ore uh, bottom line, this gap lower, uh, I believe that uh, this is when the, they come out with their numbers, uh, you had volume, and this had to test the low. I mean, it did test the low today. So 1799 that we gapped yesterday, 1796 today. We take a look at this. This is going to have to build some costs to get the higher price, that's for sure, um, because you're down with big volume. So I suspect that's going to have a sideways move for some, from some time. Vista Gold, VGZ, uh, and you got uh, Vista's going to, it's only three cents, but that's a lot for Vista. There's no doubt on the way down. And below that low, 65 cents, man. I mean, Vista can hit 65. And if you're in Vista, the bottom line is that um, one of the tigers say I'm concerned. And, yeah, you can be concerned. That's how Vista trades. That's the other side of it, man. You know, the, the bottom line is that um, is 
I don't believe it's very hard to trade Vista, but <laughs> he, the the broker dealer who runs Vista basically, you know, <laughs> has that stock on a stranglehold a, in a monster way. I I can tell you flat out, I've gone in with hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand shares sometimes, and um, you know you can you can always go in when you're getting back out. You better you better be going back out. Uh, in the context of uh, you get a big rally, because if you don't, that uh, <laughs> broker deal uh, is going to smash you in about two seconds. But uh, my take is that Vista is still there. Well, well, you know, it's interesting, and I'll get Fred on. Like GFI came out with their numbers yesterday, and GFI said that the way that they're going to grow is that they're going to buy. So it's like, okay, man, well, they're in Australia, and so isn't Vista Gold. We'll have to get Fred on and see uh, if he's got any leads yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up uh, 232, Nasdaq's up 161, S&Ps are up 35. Let's take a look inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here. Inside of the, oh, it's, gonna be, it's definitely going to be Microsoft, that's for sure. Yeah, Microsoft's putting 52 positive points, Home Depot 39. Salesforce 20, Nike 14. Taken away from it, you get 3M minus 7, Intel minus 3, just about hardly nothing. And let's take a look at where we are. That's interesting. Okay. So what's also going to happen inside the Dow, let's see, we're 35,113. And Uh, 
I'm just bringing up the indice volume right now. 491, but on an option expiration, this will explode at the end. So we're going to do 900,000. Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market for a few of the tigers and tigresses out here. So oil, no doubt, has uh, come down hard and fast. Pretty amazing that for something we use every day and hundreds of millions of barrels of that. So just picture, folks, you know, those tankers, one tanker carries one million barrels. The, the sewage tankers, one million barrels per ship. So it's pretty wild. Uh, let's see, though, we don't want this. We don't, don't want, we don't, I don't want September. We're still trading with September, huh? Yeah, I guess we are, month by month. Okay, so if we take a look at the September contract, you're laying out at 62.32. Looks to me like 61.06 is game here. And if we go into the couple of the equities, we took take a look at uh, Exxon Mobil. It's laying at its lows out here. You know, you get a sideways move. You're up four cents today. Um, let's see, fifty two eleven was the low. We broke the swing one thirteen versus ninety, which is good. You're going into see at one. It looks to me like Exxon will, will, will go hit this 5108. And then Chevron, CVX. That's up 13 right now. Oh, that's a problem. Look at this volume, man. Holy cow, man. Someone's unloading Chevron. Yeah. So Chevron looks like it wants to go to 89. You're at 94. That's a problem. That's going to be a problem, child. So uh, we take a look at the OIH, the ETF structure. For the, this is for the oil service companies. That's trading at 168. And that's a problem, too. So last swing point there, it's breaking, and it's breaking with 4.1 million versus 2.7. Now, we, bro we broke the... The larger portion with tremendously lighter volume, but you didn't hold price. So when that shoots down, it's like, okay, man, you get some real problems out here. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market out here. So silver has been a monster drag. No two ways about that. S-I-Z. I must, I got to be on Z by now. So we got 158,000 contracts traded. That's a lot of contract. We must have just switched over today. That's a huge amount of contract volume. A silver. One second. S I Z. No, no, it's fifteen thousand. S I U. We're still on September. Fifty. Yeah, we're still on September. Okay. So if we take a look at silver, you're coming into you're down twenty one cents. You're coming into the, the high volume swing low. Yeah, this this needs this needs strength, man. That's the real bottom line. It needs a sign of strength. Sign of strength is wide price spread, uh, accelerated volume. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at. Uh, let's see what this is. This is American Airlines. The low is ten dollars. The high is twenty six. And this can go after like fifteen bucks. I'd be really careful, man, you know, with the, with the aspect, folks, whether it's the airlines, whether it's the cruise ships, you know, whether it's things that are dependent on us uh, getting out and about, I'd be really careful. Uh, you know, the, the bottom line is that what you had out here today is you had quite a few companies go from the aspect of coming back to the office in September to next January, okay? And I'm talking about big companies, and so th this, this is going to turn into a, a larger problem than all of us actually, I suspect, think about. Um, so the, the the running around the world is not going to go as quick as we we would like it to go. That's what that's what it seems like. Let's go. Actually, let, let me look at Love, Southwest Airlines. So Southwest right now, that's trading forty seven dollars. Yeah, that's at its lows. And, and what you what you got to remember here too is this, right? I can't picture. Okay. Another stimulus bill, man. <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that they haven't got the money out in this stimulus bill yet. I just can't picture another one. So 
you know, the airlines got a huge amount of money in the stimulus bill. Um, yeah, love can go to 41. And right now you're 47. It already dug into 49. So 41 is game. And, you know, it was the stimulus that saved these airlines in a monster way. They, they took down a huge amount of money. Um, love looks to take in $4.8 billion, but they still are looking to lose money next quarter. Uh, this, this, this coming quarter, rather. And then if you just go back to American Airlines again for a second, just to see where they say they are going to be making money. American Airlines are saying that they're going to lose money the rest of this year, plus the first quarter of 2022. And what I would, would look at there is just kind of what I just said, that, um, you know, the, the aspect of uh, getting on planes left and right, you know, I, I just don't see it happening. That's the real bottom line. We're going to take a look at uh, good old Amazon. What is Amazon doing out here today in Google? Amazon, yeah, see, Amazon wants to hit this low price point. Amazon's up, only up $2.38. You get a high volume low of thirty-one twenty-seven. We made thirty-one seventy-five, And then you also have $31.63. Okay, $31.63 is the one to keep your eye on here. So the last time that we were down on Amazon, the low for the week had been 3163 the the that's the high for the week the low was 2881 now we did 20 million shares there well we'll come in at that with 16 million that's 2163 yeah that's say we'll we'll see how it shakes out but that's saying number one you're going to go get to that number meaning the top of that number which is 3163 and the way that Amazon trades, folks, I suspect we're going to get to the bottom of that number because Amazon, as I said many times, is always so hard to buy because one second it looks like it's going to be totally destroyed and then all of a sudden it flips around on a dime and just goes higher. So you really, if you're going to buy Amazon on a long-term basis, you just got to pick a number and say that, hey, guess what, man? You know, markets are going to go back up. Markets aren't down forever. Markets don't correct forever. And guess what? I'm buying Amazon because I want to own it. Because, you know, the, the bottom line uh, is Amazon is, my take is Amazon is going to continue to grow. Uh, we have changed how we shop in a, in a monster way. I can tell you, I am bought something on Amazon at least four or five times a week. And I think I'm not the only one. I'm sure I got a lot of company out there. <laughs> Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 236. You get the NASDAQ up 169. S&Ps are up 37. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 223. You get the Nasdaq up 164. S&Ps are up 35. Our guest today, folks, is Allison Barlow. Allison is the executive director of the St. Pete Innovation District. Uh, we've had Allison on before. Today, we're going to be talking to her. It's pretty cool about the Defense and Maritime Technology Hub. So the Defense and Maritime Technology Hub will take advantage of the increased state and federal funding to provide St. Pete a space for the development of maritime and technology solutions. The bottom line, folks, is that no matter where you are in this country right now, come on down and visit us. You're going to love St. Pete. I've been here 25 years. Every day you wake up, the sun is beautiful. For all you folks up in Woods Hole, uh, you know, the bottom line, we get a nice maritime center up there. For all you folks out in California, you get plenty of technology out there. Come visit us. Allison, welcome back to TFNN. Thanks for having me, Tom. I'm glad to be here. I'm telling you, I like this. Okay, so so t tell us, you know, I, I see the I see the write up here. Okay, so tell us exactly, you know, how this is going to work. Sure. So we're fortunate here in St. Pete to have a booming tech entrepreneur and small business entities, um, as well as maritime. Yes. And so we had this fantastic building. It's a city owned building, actually that is sitting right on the port. Um, it has the ability to do uh, port operations, meaning you could test an underwater drone or something off right out of the back of the building. Right. It also has lab space and secure communications. So we looked at it and said, what do we really need here in our community? And we need a way to bring those companies together because when they're under one roof, and having an opportunity to collaborate, there is a lot of amazing work that can be done. And we're already seeing some joint works, joint proposals that are coming out of the planning even. Yes, because, I mean, it's so specialized. It, it's, there's a different conversation that takes place, whether we're talking engineers, whether we're talking folks that are in the Defense Department, whether we're talking about folks in the Maritime Department. So let me ask you, as I'm looking at this, we're talking about that organizations selected will be expected to engage in as members of the innovation system, uh, the St. Pete community, such as internships, peer monitor, uh, mentoring. So is this a place that you can just go down and lease, or is this something that someone is going to be looking at and say, okay, this is going to be a good fit for this building? How does this work? Exactly. We're curating the companies. So we want companies that have, uh, first of all, a strong track record, yes. even if they're new. Uh, but we also want companies that are really intentional about their engagement in our community and with each other. So I always tell a company, if you're looking for a spot to come, lease some space, close your door and be in your office all day, you're not for us. We're not the right spot for you. Right. Um, and so with the building having been developed by the city and by our county, we have an obligation to our community to make sure there's a tie and a benefit to them. So that's where the internships, tech uh, exchange events, or what we're calling Tech Tuesdays, and also some peer mentoring for younger companies who want to get into this space. Because you can learn how to be an entrepreneur and run a business, but the unique aspects of working with the federal government, you need someone who's done it before to show you the ropes. Yeah, we want to know how to get those green checks. Yes. <laughs> so let, let me ask you about the, the aspect of, you know, when we take, we take the maritime community, we take the, the technology solution, right? 
The yep. the aspect now, do you go to different cities looking for people? And you don't have to go. I'm just saying trying to reach out to different cities. How are you trying to bring people together? So we're really fortunate because we do have such a strong beginning hub here that it's actually been through partnerships and word of mouth that we've had a lot of companies call us. Nice. So I actually think we're going to need to build a second building. Um, we are that we've had that much response. And it's really amazing because if that if these companies come to us through referrals, that means they're already establishing a connection to other companies in our community. So it just reinforces the pattern of behavior we want to see happening. Um, and in particular, in the maritime environment, St. Pete has the largest concentration of marine scientists, oceanographers in the southeast U.S., and so much of the emphasis these days in our ocean is around mapping and exploration to understand how there's effects to climate change and flooding, but also mineral exploration in the water and what happens when there's an oil rig that, uh, you know, has a disaster like we saw with Deepwater Horizon. Yes. So all of our local folks are particularly strong in mapping. And I think that's going to create a really great tie for future companies that come to us. Yeah, it's pretty cool. People are definitely getting more cognizant. Well, particularly in, in Florida, folks, we're cognizant about this water because we're here for water. I mean, and the bottom line is that, you know, that's that's survival in a huge way. So let me ask you about the aspect of you're saying that there's increased state and federal funding in order to basically do this. So what type of funding do you have in order to basically keep bringing this forward? So right now we've had great support from the city and the county and really what they're giving us is in-kind support with um, some reduced rent on the building that allows us to bring companies in and get them established. But what we're seeing with the companies and the organizations is because the state in particular is spending a lot of time and energy around clean water and the health of our ecosystem here in Florida. And at the federal level, we're seeing both investments in the Department of Defense and new technology, but also across the Department of Defense around data and data analytics and IT. The companies are looking at opportunities for really exponential growth. And that's what fuels us. So keeping that connectivity. We are looking at additional kind of workforce uh, job growth grants to fuel like our internship program and things like that. And we'll be looking, we're working both at the state and the federal level to see what makes sense. We have to go over to Tampa and steal some more people from McDill. And, and in and, Tampa, folks, that's where the Central Command is, okay? And the bottom line is that they got plenty of green checks over there. And we have a much better place over here. <laughs> definitely. And, and they've actually got both. It's really interesting. They both have Central Command and Special Operations Command. Yes. And Special Operations Command has a unique funding stream within the Department of Defense. So it is. It's a great opportunity in both fronts. And, as and, well as DOD up in D.C., because we saw with COVID a lot of government contracts in the DOD center area where they normally would ask for geographically you to be close by or yes. in their building. They're not asking for that anymore. So we're seeing more opportunities for remote telework for technology professionals as long as the building is set up right. No, I, I can see that. I was down, um, I was just getting dinner. This, now, this is over a year ago, but the bottom line, I'm getting dinner. And there's four or five uh, men and women, and they're all there. And the bottom line is that they, they now they're from D.C., but they're all contractors, right? They're ex-generals and all this, right? But the bottom line is that three of them had apartments in St. Pete to come down for the weekend and go back to D.C. And I said right to them, I says, hey, man, you got you to bring some more bread down here, you know, and... <laughs> I mean, we know, yeah. and, and folks, I'm not kidding. If, if you come down here, you know, we all can do remote. I mean, you know, what Allison's talking about, you saw this building. You got to Google this building, folks, okay? Because one of the buildings, we were actually going to have our office, that brick building right down the street from you. We were moving in there, and it just didn't work oh, out. Perfect. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's insane. You know, coming to work every day, looking out that water, it's a whole different ball game. Do you know what I mean? No doubt. It, it's a lifestyle, right? Yes. I, I worked up in D.C. for 15 years. Oh, you, know. So, you know. I like each that. Each end of my day was a commute. Here, my commute is 10 minutes. I can go meet up with friends for dinner. It's great. That's awesome. Well, listen, thank you so much again, Allison. We really appreciate you bringing all this business in, getting these entrepreneurs going, getting these young people going. It's really exciting, man. I think it's just fabulous. You have a great one and a safe one. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call. And you, too, can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And this is a sad story, folks. So uh, the story that I got right here, this Melvin Capital, okay? Uh, bottom line, you get this guy, Gabe Plotkin. Um, this is the guy that, you know, he didn't go against the Reddit traders. The bottom line, the Reddit traders basically uh, end up knowing what he had, and basically they took him to the cleaners. But I want to show you something in here. So what, what happened is this, is that this guy, you know, bottom line, was a short seller, okay, inside the option market, okay? Bottom line is that he obtained position. Now, this just came out today. We knew that it was, he was in a losing position, but not by 55%. Because what happened is that he got permission from the SEC to delay the required, you know, I talk about the 13F filings all the time. Um, starting in February, after the Reddit traders used the funds earlier filings to target stocks he had likely sold shot. By then, the damage was already done. So the bottom line is that you got to remember something, that the market takes the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and the bottom line is that this guy here, folks, okay, for something like 15 to 17 years, have been successful beyond belief. And uh, guess what? Just, you know, two or three months, bottom line, down and down big, man. So always be careful, folks. And don't think that, you know, you're King Kong. Because guess what? There's, and, and this is, the markets aren't different, but they always change a little. And the bottom line, you know, if you get run up, if you get caught in a run, the bottom line is that the runs are extraordinary now. Because of the fact the communications that do take place on Reddit are fast, furious, and they know enough that you look at how many shares are outstanding, 
where it goes, and then you just start banging those out. And once, it, once that run starts taking place, guess what? There's nothing that can stop it. Unfortunately, what he did is that he doubled down. He went from an aspect, if you look at this number, this number was extraordinary. He went from an aspect of having inside of the option market $750 million uh, in put options uh, to $1.6 billion. Okay? And the bottom line, they all went against him. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube, subscribe. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock Monday morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. We'll get them, folks. <laughs>